Yes. Good evening and welcome to WCU Esports. Tonight we have the NECC playoffs here in the semifinals of Valorant. We have WCU taking on Baker University, Baker Orange. I'm Mountain Man. I'm Disagree. It's definitely going to be an exciting matchup here in the semifinals. Uh, I, I definitely see us going to three games, but we will see. Only time will tell. Uh, last time, as we load in here, these two teams went head-to-head. -head. I guess you can say head-to-head, -head, not really head-to-head. -head. Uh, Baker just forfeited to WCU <laughs> before the game even started. I wonder if it was just a scheduling issue, because there's a lot of those near the end of the season. Uh, we're going to be on split for map one. Uh, WCU already locked in their normal lineup, I'd say. Nobles on the Astra, Majarshan's on the Sona, Isms is on the Sky... And Mixu is on the jet as we wait for Baker to pick Select their your agent. agent, is what it's called. Thank you for reminding me, game. I was having a brain fart there. Yes. And we're also being joined by Jojo Mojo. Hi. Yeah, so this will be the first time these two teams meet uh, because that first game was a forfeit. So neither of these teams have played each other. Kind of who knows what's going to be coming out of the gate. I mean, right now, if you see you starting on attack, you and you really want to see them be aggressive and fast. That's what we've seen them succeed with all semester. And with the two-point map, this is where Western really succeeds on the attack and on defense. So we really need to see that aggressive out of the gate, or that aggression out of the gate. Yeah, we're going to have uh, Baker Orange and Green and WCU in Red. So... Let's see, last week, I know uh, WCU ended up winning it in three in the quarterfinals. WCU is the number one seed going into playoffs here, so definitely a little bit of expectations there from the Mountaineers. But, I mean, we are in postseason, so everyone's just fighting to stay alive. This is a best-of-three matchup, and winner moves on, loser is done. We do see a nice underground flank here coming from Noble. Just joining up with Mixu, who finds Tipsy. We also saw last week Mixu definitely can come out and get these kills for his team. Getting, I believe it was a 36 and 6 KD uh, in one of the games last week. For all, it was mainly that was mainly as a result of just unreal team play from WCU, and we're seeing that once again as Western is currently up five to three on attack in terms of people who are still alive. Western going for the plant as well. Mixu does find Comey. Cornwall does find Mixu, however, which is a little unnerving for WCU as Larry remaining. finds Majarshan, Isms finds Larry, and Isms cleans it up, finding Cornwall. WCU up going or going up one zero. And if I remember correctly, this is also the map that WCU did win the series on last week. When we saw him, I believe, go like 13 and 5 or something. Yeah, WCU. We've, we've talked about throughout the whole season, WCU really likes these maps with only uh, two objectives. They seem to do a lot better on both attack and defense. I think there's just less area to cover. They're better as a team working together. So it's a good choice for the Mountaineers starting out here. right there. Do see Cornwall picking up the shorty. We'll see if that here. can get some kills here. WCU will begin to attack A as Boo finds Cornwall. Kami finds Boo. Isms finds Kami. Mixu finds Larry. And it's a four on two right out the gate for WCU. As the other two were actually on B site defending, and they're gonna try and push around as Mixu finds King. And it's a four on one here. Not looking great for Tipsy. But even with Valorant and R6 alike, uh, all it takes is you just gotta find the kills, and you can actually bring this back. And Jarshan's gonna find Tipsy. <laughs> Jarshan still being the newest member of this WC Valorant squad, but showing that, I mean, last week, his first showing on this team, and not a bad one at that, trying to figure out how to work with the other four, and right now it's looking like he's fitting in just yeah. fine. 
not doing too shabby for his second time playing with this team. Yeah, spending most of the season as a sub, WCU called him up and he's, he's ready to answer. He's ready to prove what he can do to his team and he's ready to prove to himself that he can do it. I know it's been a bit of a rough-ish semester for Majarshan, but overall he's been playing great, been playing smart, and it's now Careful working here. even better when he's working with a team that is willing to accommodate and work with him. Mixu looking at Tipsy here. We'll see what happens as Tipsy finds Mixu in the Astro Cloud. I have this fight. Larry gonna find Noble. Ism is Komi to answer. A, ooh, Larry does find Isms, however, and it's a two on four. It's, nope, one on fours. It is all up to Boo once again. Who tries to find it? King with the pistol, but King just shut him down. Two to one lead for the Mountaineers. But again, Baker just taking one round. Still isn't bad for WCU, as it's I think 12 rounds before the swap, if I remember correctly. So yeah, this is been, still uh, early game. Some of the fastest rounds we've seen all season. Uh, Spike has not even come close to getting planted yet. These are just going for kill count rounds. I guess they did in the early game, but still, it's it's going quickly. And it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. There are plenty of rounds to be played here in game one. And two to one isn't the safest lead. I mean, three rounds in, you really want to be up as far as you can while you're the attackers. Losing a map, especially this early on, isn't necessarily what you want to see, but Western probably still just peeling out how this ooh, BU team is playing. But Majarshan and Mixu both find Tipsy and Larry respectively, putting them up five on three with a minute 18 left in round four. Western looking to approach that B site, and it is Baker ready to defend, or trying to figure out how to defend. It is a, we can see them all starting to come in. Majarshan gonna go for the plant. I mean, fakes it just to get around the corner as King was ready with the, I think that's an assault rifle. I think Mixu knows they're there. He's just waiting for them to poke their head out. Mixu finds King, Five Komi down, finds B. Isms. One it's up to Mixu and Boo here, but it's just up to Komi, I believe. Yeah, Komi for Baker. And all it takes for Komi is one shot. Well, you gotta take out Mixu and Boo's full health. I mean, and even then, right now, I think left. the main thing is that Mixu was actually using Majarshan Five as planted. bait to try and get as many kills as he can. Mixu <laughs> on a triple kill right now, which overall, it sounds bad, but that's not the worst strategy. If you can bait out finding where two or three of the opposing team are just by losing one player and you can take them out and you know you're good enough to, that is huge. Yeah, neither team knowing where either of the other players are, but who finds Comey there? WCU going up three to one here after four maps. Taking a look at the scoreboard, we have Mixu leading the charge significantly with seven kills and only two deaths on board. Looking over to Baker as well, we do see Larry and King all, or both right about the same. Excuse me, KDA at three and three, the only difference Larry having an assist as well. So fairly decent spread on both teams right now, it looks like. Western a little, I mean, obviously Mixu and Boo working, or Isms and Boo, I believe, working together just incredibly well, or whoever, it's either Mixu or Isms or Mixu. And a fight going in favor of Western very fast, trading two to one, that's not what you want to see if you're Baker. WCU definitely moving really well as a team, kind of going back and forth. Tipsy finds Majarshan in the back line. Spike planted. Larry finds Boo. Last Mixu finds standing. Tipsy. Larry finds Noble. It's a two on one here for Mixu. Larry will find Mixu. Now they'll just get a free defuse here. Yeah, nice shot there. I mean, you can't do too much if you're Mixu in that situation, however. Just a one on two is spike tough defused. to see, and it's plenty of time for that spike to be defused for Faker. Nothing that you really want to try and risk by switching out who defuses, but overall looking like a really solid game in favor of WCU. I mean, 2-1 and then 1-1 one one in terms of rounds. Not the most favorable, but not the worst either. I think that 
Western probably going to be getting a lot smarter with how they play throughout the remaining of their attack. Okay, goes that definitely yeah. a big round there from Larry. Oh, that goes there. Of Baker going up to start leading his team with six kills now. Mixu now with eight for the Mountaineers. Mixu probably about to light up the Cornwall here. <laughs> Who's the Corn one who ends up finding Cornwall? But yeah, Cornwall walks into, I think, three of them there. Yeah. All ready to fire. And three of Western's, I'm gonna I'm going to say it, three of Western's more aggressive players. No yeah. or yeah, Noble, <laughs> Boo, and Mixu, who all play as one. Isms tends to play a bit slower, clean up the back line and just support their team as opposed to Noble, Mixu, and Boo, who are more aggressive in these early stages. Majarshan finds Larry. Huge pickoff from Majarshan there as I think, I don't know who's heading in. I think it's Noble heading in on their own. It is. Trying to force some pressure over towards A as the rest of the Blocking team rotates mission. towards B. And that's exactly what's going to be happening as two of Baker are sitting over towards A. I mean, that's a decent Fight trade. King Complex finds Boo, but Mixu finds King to answer. And Western going to go for the plant really fast. It is a four on two as Western is now ready to just defend the site. Yeah, we do see Baker starting to split up. Good call there, rather than going in both for the same view. WCU just holding the spike location, so it's definitely gonna be tough for Baker to, to attack the spike. Yeah, and we see, I, I don't know who the other one is, but I know that the one Comey on Baker is Killjoy. I don't know who the character of Tipsy is, though. Jet. Jet. Yeah, it looks like Baker is just not going to attack this round, just kind of stay alive, and WCU starting to retreat here. WCU will win this round, going up 4-2 here after 6. I mean, that's not a bad way to start it. A very much so a slower round as to what we've seen so far in this first half of the game. And I think Western really just wanting to feel out how Baker plays. They're trying to play a lot smarter, a lot slower in that round, and it worked for them. Obviously going four to two in six rounds isn't in favor of Western necessarily, because defending is a lot harder in this game than attacking. But Western's defense on these two points has been unreal this season, and if Baker hasn't seen that yet, then they really don't know what they're like what to expect. Right. Yeah, this is the, uh, we generally see WCU starting on defense, so having them start on attack is a little unique, but still, they're playing well. Time to hunt. Okay. Scout destroyed. You are divided. Spike dropped. And it's like Western's just going to play past the spike around for a bit, trying to bait out that B push. As Isms is looking to go backline, or looking for an attempt to go backline, maybe, as Noble then joins him. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell whether they're looking to relocate or if they're just kind of holding that to make sure no one sneaks up on them. We do see a uh, cipher. Um, top of the leaderboard for. Baker holding just a point by himself with his cams. Noble finds Tipsy though. Ooh, and then Robert finds Mixu. That's a bit of a weird position left. from Baker University. Isn't does find Robert. Comey finds down. Noble. Spike down mid. And it's a three on three slight advantage in favor of Western as Comey finds Complex. Huge advantage in favor of Western as Isn't finds Comey. And it's up, is, up, is all up to Larry, who is on A site, <laughs> or towards A, I should say, sitting comfortably in the mid as Spike WCU planted. is all over on B and going to be baiting Larry to come over. Yeah, it's going to be a three on one. Larry's still stuck behind this, this wall here, so. Finally getting free. WCU just kind of locking down their position around the spike. Larry's going to have to slowly be able to pick them off. And right now, Western making sure that they stay just hidden from where it is most likely that Larry will be coming from. And Isn't going to pick off Larry at the end, and that will do it. WCU take, ugh, extending their lead 5-2. to two. 
once again, a lot slower of an attack than we've seen from Western. Oh, and we're seeing a timeout here from Baker University. That's a little bit early for a timeout in this half, but at the mm -hmm. same time, WCU going up 5-2, to two, and when it's a do-or-die situation that Baker is in in Game 1, they really can't afford to lose Game 1 of this series. Yeah, we've definitely seen WCU have some pretty crazy swings throughout the season, both the season and even uh, their first round of playoffs. So... For WCU, 5-2 is not that big of an advantage, but Baker definitely wants it to keep it closer, so calling that timeout, trying to regroup and figure out a new strategy. And from what we've seen this season, teams that get that timeout on WCU early on like this, they can change the entire pace of how this half goes. And Western, honestly, they don't do too well after the timeout. That first round, usually they struggle with, but they can pull it back pretty easily. Yeah, we have seen WCU mostly attacking the point B, so curious if Baker's kind of just strategizing how to better hold that position. But here we go, timeout is finished. We'll be getting underway into round Need a drop. eight. Thanks. Took me a second there, math is a bit hard, it's fine. <laughs> here. Well, even looking here. at last round though, Mountain Keep Man, they had four people here. guarding A and only uh, Larry guarding B. Or, sorry, four people guarding B and Larry only guarding A. And Ooh, WCU. Interesting just... strategy here. WCU all pushing A. Baker moving into the hey, middle so ground. Fair. Nobody defending A. So Mountaineers should get an early spike plant here. Then are just going to have to hold out Baker. And Ism is going to be looking in alone in just a second as Baker is going to be swarming him in just a moment. Isn't hunting around this corner trying to wait for someone to overextend or pop out of you. Ooh, just King knows he's there. there. Ugh. Ooh, Ooh, Tipsy gets a quick pickoff onto Boo as well. Oh, Five on three now in favor of Baker as they are all together. It's Majarshan, Noble, and Mixu for WCU. Cornwall now going for the defuse in the midst of everything. Larry picks off Mixu. It's going to be up to Majarshan and Noble, but it's going to just be a free defuse. Noble finds Tipsy, but Comey finds Majarshan. So Western going to be... I mean, that that lead is shrinking. As I said, that first game after, or that first round after the timeout seems to be Western's kryptonite. But from here, they might be able to change and see and know that this comes out from Baker, so they should be good, better off, I right would stick. think. Yeah, it's definitely a unique play I haven't seen very often in Valorant, where right essentially the defenders just let WCU go and plant and just moved as a squad and were able to clinch the victory there, so well played. Mixu you finds Tipsy pretty early on into this round. Cornwall finds Ism. Who finds Cornwall to answer? It is a four on three advantage for Western. Mixu very close to death though. Majarshan gonna pick Ism's back up. Really big pickup as King Complex does find Noble. Ism finds King. And Western now getting ready to push. Ism or Majarshan finds Komi. It's just Larry. Just Larry, who gets quickly picked off by Mixu. So WCU going up six to three. That second round after the timeout going very well. Absolutely. Like that's a common theme for this <laughs> game against Baker. Is it's just Larry. That's gonna be a quote now. Just Larry defending every time. <laughs> just Larry. If someone on Western doesn't change their name to Just Larry next year. <laughs> But right now, in terms of ult, we do see that Baker has two online ready to go. Western closest is still three kills away, so that could determine one or two rounds, depending on how they use their ults and how many kills each person gets. But for now, Western just wants to play the slow, safe game, and they're going to be grouping up, pushing towards A. We see one person from Baker trying to push in the back to find out where Western is, as Western is now going to be pushing hard onto the first point. Noble saving Mixu there, as Mixu goes in looking for anyone else on A. And Baker's going to be all moving together. Isms knows where one is. He does take out Tipsy. It's a five on three now for WCU. It's a spike is planted. Noble then finds Cornwall. 
It is now Larry and someone else. Caught in King. King, yeah. Larry and King. King does pick off Noble. Larry just about to get picked off. Who does get picked off. It was just Larry there. <laughs> who finds him as the last kill. It was just Larry, but Larry was not enough to take on the might of Western. Boo coming in clutch, putting Western ahead 7-3 to three now. And Larry is actually leading the charge for Baker, so definitely staying alive does correlate to most kills. WCU leading the charge is Mixu with 11, but closely behind is Isms with 10. Mountaineers are looking good so far. Yeah, overall a really good game from both teams. Western just a little bit ahead, and it's really showing. They're doing well, they're working as a unit, and Baker just can't defend against that. They had one round where they hard pushed as a squad. Ooh, Tipsy try or Noble trying to take the shotgun. Tipsy finds him. Boo then finds Tipsy. It's gonna be Western now trying to push out of this whatever it is. <laughs> Smoke, I guess. Next who finds Cornwall. And now Western trying to figure out where to go. Obviously we can see as Global that they should push over to A, but it's now a three on three as Larry finds Mixu. Boo is ready is to go. For Boo here. We'll see I mean, what he does. Who being the spike carrier, you really don't want to have to worry about this. And Western will be getting flanked. Majarshan ready to see someone come in the back. Comey Boo. finds Majarshan, but Boo finds King. It's now a two on two. Western still has to get the spike planted. Boo knows that someone is there. It gets picked off by Larry. It is all up to isms. One enemy remaining. Just, uh... Isms and Comey. Comey, yeah. Isms versus Comey, and Isms now looking to not even bother with the spike. And Isms Ooh. picks off Comey. Clutch for WCU, putting them up 8-3. to three. Last round before the switch. Win here would be great, pre great pressure for WCU heading into their defensive uh Rounds. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Big difference between going in nine and three versus eight and four, especially going into defense, which in Valorant is a little trickier. On attack, the teams can kind of work together, move as a team. Generally, it's four v one, four v two, five v two. So we'll see how the Mountaineers can do here in the final round before the swap. What should be good to see too is that the Mountaineers are generally really solid playing that defense on two-point maps. Boo does find Komi to answer, however, and WCU going to be pushing now onto A. Boo going for a very fast plant to put the pressure onto Baker, which he will get off in time. Larry's going to be coming on the right. You want to fight it? Just by himself. Just Larry. While the rest of Baker tries to figure out where to go, Noble going to be seen. Just second gets found by Tipsy. And Larry, Larry finds, finds Isms. It's now up to Majarshan and Boo. Boo finds one. Larry. Robert finds Majarshan. It is all on Boo's shoulders now. Never mind. It's going to be a defuse fairly easy for Baker. They're going to have plenty of time. Yeah, well played there by Baker. We're going into the swap. Eight to four now. So. WCU still has a little bit of work cut out for them. Switching sides. But even still heading into this 8-4, and four, Baker has to win about 69% of the rounds here. Because they need, they need um, nine, 9 rounds out of 12 versus Western, who only needs 5 out of, five out of 12. Don't know what math class you got where... <laughs> Three quarters is equal to 69%, Sorry. but it's 75. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You're all good. Um, but Western now, generally in these pistol rounds, they play a bit smarter, a lot safer, and they are able to get the headshots for the most part. I'm not going to say that they always do, because we've seen quite a few times where those pistol rounds don't go in their favor. The first round tonight, though, they started out strong, and they got a really nice just series of kills sequentially, and now just knowing how Baker defends, they might be able to get a little bit of knowledge on how they attack. And Baker looking to push hard onto B in just a second here. And they really don't want to overextend, but they might. And Baker knows that Western is over there. Western not calling everyone over quite yet, but it is Boo, Majarshan, and Isms on the same side. Ooh, Isms just slightly off center on Comey. Does find Tipsy a bit though. Tipsy's a lot lower in health than maybe he wants to be. And Isms finds Cornwall. Really good first pick in this round. Isms finds Larry. Isms finds King. 
Isms just on a rampage right now, trying to find a fourth. No, Tiki finds Isms. Komi finds boost, so now it's a three on two in favor of Western. Majarshan gonna back out for just a second. Tipsy really injured here though, has to play super passive. Mainly led. Majarshan finds Tipsy though. And it's gonna be all on Komi. It's gonna be Noble and Noble Majarshan and Mixu against Komi. Mixu does pick off Komi at the end to put the West or the Mountaineers up nine to four. Yeah, that's a great way to start defense there for the Mountaineers. Isms now leading the charge with 15 kills there. Yeah, Isms playing really well, and a lot of Isms fans in chat that we can see, just it's been the talk of the town apparently. <laughs> Isms topping the leaderboard and just doing really well. Right now, Western playing a lot smarter than what we've seen the first couple of their rounds for defense. There have been a couple times where they decided to have that one super aggressive defense push out of the gate, which you really don't want to see. And now Weston, I think, is aware that <laughs> is aware. Mixu oh wins the uh, jet one v one as well as finding Larry. Ooh, Mixu tries to find someone else. One Noble instead finds Comey and King. Down. Oh my gosh, it is all up to Cornwall. Robert Cornwall on their own. Noble knows that he's there. Yeah, the spike is down. This is going to be challenging. Uh, WC is starting to push from behind. Oh, and just gets found by Boo. Boo just <laughs> says, it, I mean, hey, it was a peekaboo, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Came around the corner, just ready to go. You peeked a corner and you found the Boo. There you go. <laughs> I mean, right now, Boo quickly climbing back up the leaderboards. Mixu doing his part as well. Right now, Western pretty even spread in terms of kills. And the lowest in terms of just overall leaderboard is going to be Robert Cornwall at 6 and 11. Yeah. Which is very interesting as determining by ranks. Cornwall is actually their best player. Yeah, just taking a look at the money disparity. WCU off to a great start winning those first two rounds. They're going to be able to get essentially fully kitted, so... And Western going for a very aggressive defensive push here as Boo goes around the corner trying to bait out any pressure from Baker. Cody's going to retreat back towards center. Yeah, Baker's just going to center. And Western knows that they're in the middle now because of Comey. Comey's going to push ready for the corner. Here. This might be great shots. Ooh, Comey does pick off Boo. And now Baker's going to hard push over to B. Or maybe not. They're going to just slowly push over to B. I'll say that much. And Isms just hiding around one of the corners, waiting for Baker to overextend. Noble waiting in this smoke for Baker. Ooh, King finds Noble. Oh, it is all up to Mixu. Yeah, 1v5, definitely not looking great here for WCU. Mixu, though, one of the more consistent players and great to find clutches. Does find one very fast, trying to wait and find a second. In the last player with a sniper and pistol. Little tricky. Ooh, as Comey finds Mixu. And I mean, five to ten lead. WCU only needs three wins. Right now, the pace they're going at is going to okay. be a solid way to get a quick victory. Stick to your rolls and we'll going two to one in terms of wins to losses on this swap. Solid play from WCU. We see Mixu leading the team, sixteen nine and one, with Isms following up at fifteen eight and four. Looking over at Baker, we see Larry at eleven eleven three, and then King at nine ten and two. In terms of money, it looks like Comey's buying for the team, whereas the rest of Baker is just slowly saving up their credits, trying to do as much as they can late game. Western, on the other hand, all spending for themselves. Not a ton of, I mean, not a ton of economy saving. As we see Baker trying to bait out West or Mixu's shot, and Mixu just going to retreat as Baker's looking to push middle once again. And it's going to be Comey on their own on the far side. Mark two. Boone knows where a couple of them are in the middle, and Baker's going to push back out. I think that Baker might actually look over towards A with Larry and I don't know who 2 is. Robert. Larry and Robert sitting back in the middle as Noble is waiting, and he knows that someone's on A. He does find Tipsy. It is now a 5-on-4 for Western, but Noble a little hurt, and it looks like... Baker might be trying to push back to the middle over towards B, or they might be trying to fake the B push nice, to get the nice. A. Boo finds Robert. Comey finds Boo. It is now a four on three. Isms finds Comey. It is Isms, Mixu, Majarshan, and Noble. 
defends Larry, and it's just uh, King. King. Yeah. He's all on King, and King's gonna about to walk into the force of WCU, completely unaware. He just gets shredded. Mixu finding that final kill. Makes you point blank sniper. <laughs> I mean, you might as well, right? If you know you have two of your teammates right there, That's fair. you have the sniper pulled yeah. up. All it takes is two more rounds for WCU, and that's all she wrote for map one. Yeah, Mountaineers are looking great, especially being here on defense. I mean, they've won three of the four, which that's impressive in itself. Yeah, I mean, I won't say that's all she wrote so far, but Western's looking really solid. They have to win two more rounds, and their economy just keeps climbing. Boo and Majarshan being the ones who are spending now for the Mountaineers, as Larry, and I think that is Comey, just emptied their pockets on this last buy up. Cornwall, Cornwall finds Boo. Quick pick on the Boo, not necessarily the best pick for Mixu finds Tipsy, Mix or Noble finds Comey, Comey finds Mixu. Yeah, right now WC with a slight edge as Cornwall Corn finds Majarshan. Cornwall finds Majarshan putting Baker slightly in the lead and this is going to be some health coming back in favor of Larry who was just on death's door for a second there. Three, and three. it looks like Cornwall, or not Cornwall, uh, King is going to be with the spike trying to find some way to get over to a point. Isms now with a very risky approach and just going to be hiding behind the corner. It's going to be Noble ready for to come out. Finds one, gets found by the other, and it's now going to be Isms flanking from behind. Not something that you're going to be expecting if you're Baker. I'm definitely not expecting it as Isms is just able to walk for free, but he doesn't know where they're at. <laughs> I think he has an idea, and he knows that they went down that hallway, but he's just going to be chasing, playing defense, and Baker is now left. playing very hesitant. They have oh to go for a plant here, and I think Ism's just playing the predator. Spike planted. Really risky. Ooh. Isn't about to walk out. One finds, one. finds one. King, it's all up to Robert Cornwall. Robert, yeah, Cornwall. Cornwall versus Isms, and Isms now flanking from the other way. Does find Ooh. Cornwall. He's going to have to go around and get the spike very fast, though. I think he's going to have He's going to have plenty of time. time. Isms gets the free defuse. Western goes up. Now, game point. Good clutch from Isms there. Down one on two. And there was a plant from Baker, which put all the pressure onto Isms, and Isms just carried. Yeah, this is looking really good for the Mountaineers. Just need one more to close out game one in this best of three series. And I'm wondering if we won't see a timeout come from Baker here, as they do have that timeout on attack as well. In 17 rounds, though, I'm surprised we've only seen four defuses. Yeah, no, this Let's has been a very, very kill-heavy game. Yeah. Find the weak point I mean, we've got... What is it? Four, five, six, seven players in double digits, which generally does not happen. So. Yeah, and there's no weak link on either team either, as everyone seems to be pulling their own weight in their own manner. But we we actually don't see the timeout here like we were expecting. You should run. We'll see if that, uh, hopefully that works out in Baker's favor, but should also work out in WCU's. Yeah, and Baker's gonna put a Killjoy down to just encompass B so they can try and go in for the free plant. Looks like Isn't isn't gonna try or is gonna try and knock here. It does get picked off by Comey though. But not before finding Tipsy. So it is going to be Larry, Comey, and not Cornwall. King against Mixu, Noble, and Majarshan. And Mixu's gonna go in. Gets found by Comey. It's gonna be up to Majarshan and Noble. Noble finds King. It is now a two on two and the spike is down. It is all on Noble's shoulders here to take it as Comey picks him off with a quad kill. WCU still in the lead by six rounds, just needs one to win. It's going to be a mountain of a comeback for Baker. Yeah, Ism now breaking 20 kills here with 21 on board. And Mixo needs two more to hit that number. I mean, right now, just an insane performance from the Mountaineers in terms of kills. The lowest two on the or two of the lowest on the Mountaineers, or two of the bottom three, I should say, Noble and Boo, still higher up than Larry and King. Yeah. The second and third on Baker. It is all Comey right now. And after this round, we could actually have three players with kills in the twenties. You are divided. Comey can take all five. Get My ult is ready. 
And uh, Mixu can take two here. Boo does find Larry. And then heals himself up, which is incredible. And it is going to be Mixu and Noble chilling in this smoke, waiting for Baker. Wonder if Noble's going to get picked off here on the side. Noble probably is going to get taken out once the smoke drops. Noble does get yep. picked off by Tipsy with the help of, I believe that is, I don't Cornwall. know who that is. I thought, but I no, be Cornwall no. is the same character as Interesting Noble, split know. here. Yeah. <laughs> yep, there is Tipsy who gets picked off. It is oh, now Cornwall, Cornwall going to just sit back. And, oh, they it's are going to be baiting out. Yeah. They are baiting out the plant onto A. Is King now plants on B? Spike planted. Isms finds Cornwall. Except it's also a four on two here. Well, it's so a four on two, but this is bad for the Mountaineers. They thought that they were going to be on A. They now have to go all the way back as King and Comey now have time to set up and get themselves ready for the f full force of the Mountaineers. Comey finds Isms, finds Majarshan. It is now up to Boo and Mixu against Comey and King. Mixu finds King. Last player standing. It is all up to Mixu. Mixu's just gonna try and ignore this Killjoy. He's gonna get it off. He gets it. Yes. Wait, no. 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 Barely. Unbelievable. Oh Ooh. my gosh. Seconds Comey, away. Comey does die to the bomb there, so yeah. overall good. Good aggression from Mixu there Dang. as it resets everyone. That I was, thought Mixu had that. That <laughs> looks ex like that was tight. I don't know how much closer it could have been Ooh. for Baker to or for Comey to clutch that round. Great save though. You have to give credit where credit yeah. is due. Well Immaculate played. save from yeah. Comey. Comey coming up on 20 kills as well with 19. Mixu just breaking that 20 kill mark. Ism still leading the charge with 22. Yeah, and Mixu having almost a 2x. Majarshan finds Cornwall. Cornwall finds Mixu. Larry finds Majarshan. Noble and Isms finds Tipsy and Larry, respectively. It's a three on two. Yeah, that's a very and, aggressive pusher for the Mountaineers. And King's going for the plant. planted. <laughs> I mean, there is the plant, and I think it's... Yeah. I wonder if the Mountaineers are going to know which site they they planted on. It is now King and Comey once again. This is not what you want to see if you're Western. Comey finds Boo. Comey finds Noble. It is all up to Isms, who gets found. Comey just unreal play these past few rounds. I wonder if we might see a timeout coming from Western for the second time this season. I doubt it. <laughs> I highly doubt it, but it might be something they want to consider. WCU, one of those few teams that almost never calls timeout, so... I mean, so far this season's been working for them, but three quick rounds after being up on match point 12 to 5, you might want to think about it. I'm not going to say they should, but they should at least consider and talk about it. Yeah, WCU doing a pretty good split here. It does appear that Baker is pushing B heavy. And Western has three over towards B. Looks like Majarshan's waiting for that back attack, or like an attack from the side in that midfield, or in that middle area. Yeah, it looks like Baker might be backing off, kind of pushing that middle ground. They are certainly slowly getting more and more aggressive. Majarshan just gets out of the way of Tipsy's line of sight. And Western knows that they're in the middle. Boo gets found by Cornwall. Cornwall doesn't take much in trade. And Comey. Tipsy yeah. finds Majarshan to trade. So now it is a three on three. Both teams are at full health. Really, honestly, that's probably the best thing that could happen for the Mountaineers. Finding Comey this fast. Comey being a great late game player for Baker. But that's not to discredit Larry and Larry King and someone else who is still alive. King is going for the plant on B. Question. It's, uh, Tipsy. Larry, Tipsy. Yeah, I was like, Tipsy does find Noble. Larry finds Mixu. It is all up to Isms. Isms finds King. Isms now in a one on two situation to try and get this defuse off. Gets picked off by Tipsy. This is not looking good for WCU here as they just gave up four rounds straight, I believe. Yeah, just about. Yeah. yeah. It is. And Western now. They're still on the brink of winning this game, but they need to win here. Or they only have three rounds to win before yeah. it goes to overtime. And historically speaking, <laughs> overtime has not been Western's friend. 
not in any just game. in any game. <laughs> in any game, overtime has not favored the Mountaineers aside from when the Mountaineers play one another. Yeah. So I think Western really just needs to get a quick win here, and if they can do that, they'll be just fine. So it's going to be a hard push from Mountaineers up middle, waiting for Baker to try and approach middle. As it is Noble chilling alone on A, the remaining, or all of Baker now, getting ready to push over on B site. And I think that Majarshan knows and is trying to call out to his team. Baker's going to start to back up, but looks like they might be doing what Western sometimes does. Backs up and then tries another hard engage. As... Uh, isms and Majarshan set up to cover B. Uh, just... Ooh, Mixu does get picked off by Larry. Who's gonna find Robert? Gonna and find Larry. Larry. Is now a fight in favor of WCU. Ooh. Tipsy finds Isms though. It is now a three on three, and Western now has to get in. Komi, Komi finds Majarshan. It's gonna be up to Noble and Boo. Last player standing. And it's gonna up be to all Noble. on Noble. King does pick off Boo with a headshot there. Noble finds Tipsy. Gonna be Noble against King and Comey. Comey being one of the best late round players on Baker's side. Comey's playing this wall really nicely. Obscuring vision. Oh. And Noble's gonna be taking the second to Get reload. And Complex for King is going to find Noble. West, I, I'm going to say it again. I think Western may need to call a timeout here to just take a second and regather their bearings. We'll see almost all of the economy drop from Isms, Mixu, Boo, and Noble. Majarshan, the only one on Western who seems to have... Nope, never mind. Western, I think, is trying to sink it all into this round. Yeah. It's a smart strategy, obviously. They need the need to get the momentum or actually they just need to get around yeah it looks like WCU <laughs> not really any momentum it's gonna be extremely aggressive here on the b push and this... it's gonna be a it's gonna be a bloodbath here yeah, it's a mix who immediately pops his ult going for it and gets picked off by Comey. cornwall finds noble it is gonna be majarshan isms and boo against the remainder of baker and i know exactly where you are cypher ult Definitely playing a big factor coming out from Larry. So it'd be nice if uh, Majarshan had his alt here, but I don't know if he's used it yet, so he might have it. But both of uh, all of Baker is standing over the two bodies that Majarshan can resurrect with his alt. And now Majarshan has the chance to, but if he can survive this, but. He you is again, Larry is just around the corner from Majarshan. And Majarshan going to be cycling down into the tunnels to try and get back over to A, anticipating that push from Baker onto A. And we but have another diversion here from Baker as they're starting to push A even though the spike is over on B. Good play here from Baker. Yeah, Western really just doesn't know how to counter this split attack. Left. Isn't going to be going in. Finds Robert pretty quick. And Baker's going to go in hard to B for this plant. Spike planted. Blinded. King just playing, playing defensive here. Just found by Boo, but Western now knows it's on A. They have to push really hard here. One's going to have to go for the defuse while the other two find... Slifer knows Boo and Majarshan are coming. Or at least Boo. At least Boo, but I do believe Cypher gets both of them, but... We'll see. Yeah. He doesn't know isms this year, though. Western just going to accept the defeat, back out, and just not even try. Going to try and shred anyone who comes back to retreat. I mean, that has been five straight... Six straight for Baker. Western needs to find a way to take this round. Yeah. They need to dig deep, get one good push, get a couple of early kills, and they should be good. But right now, it's the momentum is just on Baker's side. Western needs to just shut them down, but they can't find an answer. Yeah, I'm kind of curious what uh, WCU will do here. We can They're see Baker is playing right split. It's kind of a strategy we haven't seen them start in, so 
I would, say, I would say one of the good things for WCU, if this does go into overtime, is Baker's not that strong on the fence. As we saw WCU take almost 10 rounds on him. Yeah, WCU playing it slow. Baker not attacking either side. So I don't know if both teams are a little scared in this scenario or just kind of a unique strategy coming out from Baker. Hank Baker trying to employ what Western had in a change of pace, but I think that right now, Western being able to play slow and on defense is the best possible option. We will see a Killjoy coming in from Baker onto B, and I think they're gonna try and bait out a B push to try and get Western to cycle back, but right now, Western not falling for it. They know that there's more of Baker over towards A. Ooh, Cornwall does find Boo. It's going to put Western at a disadvantage going into the final seconds of this round here. As Noble does find King to answer. Pretty big kick from Noble. Larry finds Mixu. See if Majarshan can pick him off. No, Majarshan is just going to revive Mixu. Cool. That's a good call there. Yeah. Very smart from Western and Majarshan specifically. Great resurrection. And Western's now going to be ready to defend A. Komi's just gonna go straight for the plant. Mixu's gonna find Tipsy. Majarshan finds Robert. Komi finds Mixu and Noble, however, so it's gonna be Majarshan and Isms against Komi. It's gonna be. Finds Komi. I mean, everyone finds oh, everyone, yeah. so Western gets to get this defuse. Good and there's plenty there. of time. Majarshan gonna get this final defuse for the Mountaineers, and that is going to be game one in favor of Western. Defenders Very much win. so scary as Not there was a six game win streak for Baker, yeah. but Western coming in and just defending their number one spot. Winning the first round, something that we didn't see last week, but could very well end up in Western's favor. But we'll have to see as we come back here after we go through the scoreboard. Yeah, taking a look at the scoreboard, every single player in double digits. Comey leading the charge there. Definitely a strong second half there from Comey. Followed by Ism, Mixu, and Noble. And overall, it looks like Western just able to play more as a team. Closer tie between overall combat score, which really led to why they are able to close out the first game in the series. So, with that, I think we might actually take a quick break and we'll be back as we get into game two.
And welcome back here for game two, WCU taking game one, and pretty an exciting finish. Uh, definitely a good comeback there from Baker University, but falling just short, and the Mountaineers take game one in this best of three series. I mean, I'll, I'll be the one to say it, being that no one else will. It's exciting if you're either a Baker fan or just a fan of Valorant gameplay in general. It was not a fan, <laughs> it was not a great opportunity for us as Baker did have a very late game comeback taking six rounds in a row putting them within two of tying the series or of tying the game at one or at 13 so, we, or 12. But. we do see a whole team swap here coming out from Baker currently with the only agent still on the team is Killjoy but Larry's gonna be playing Killjoy this time and not to uh, call me. On the side of WCU, though, we see the standard lineup minus uh, Islam is no longer on Sky. Yeah, we do see WCU attacking again to start this round. Like I was saying earlier, most of the season, WCU has been starting on defense. So, interesting strategy there, just trying to get ahead early. And we're we'll seeing. It's definitely an exciting first game. Kind of looking at both teams' play styles. Uh, I don't know. I mean, Baker, they're a unique team. I, They did a couple things I haven't seen other teams do, uh, kind of pushing middle as a squad, pushing, essentially giving up points intentionally. It was a little bit unique, but oftentimes it was paying off. So we'll see how WCU is able to kind of work together and counteract that. It was all in the plan. They came back <laughs> six wins straight, so they definitely, definitely knew what they were doing. And I was... Honestly, I think the most surprising thing is that Baker didn't time, call a timeout when they were down to within one round of losing. They just kept going, and then they rolled with it, and it almost worked for them. I think that, as usual, we won't see Western call timeouts this entire series, but I think that the, the non-timeout call when you're trying to keep your season alive and, keep, and win that first game against the number one seed to put them on their heels, that's a little more worrisome. But overall, things still worked out in Western's favor, which, I mean, we're more than happy about that. As this is Valorant's first time appearing on WCU's esports roster, right? Yep, this season. Yeah, first season for Valorant. Uh, off to a great start as a program. And excited to see what they can do. And a fairly young team as well for that. I have two sophomores and three freshmen, I believe. I mean, we do one, have one junior. The one exception one being Majarshan as a junior. Or two okay. juniors. Boo as well. Oh, yeah, Boo is okay, also so, a junior. So two juniors, two freshmen. I just got Boo and Majarshans. Oh, good. We see WC pushing point B here, but after that, they might rotate back around. I think they're just trying to play patient here and force some sort of push from I Baker. I mean, Isms was going around the back trying <laughs> to figure out where... Just honestly trying to defend that backline push. And now Western getting ready to go in and attack. As soon as this Viper wall comes down, this might be a bloodbath. They're just going to push through the Viper wall. Noble finds Tipsy. I mean, it is a 5 on 3, 4 on 3 for Western as King does find Noble. Jarshan. Trying to push around the back. It is going to be a spike plant. Robert finds Mixu. Majarshan finds Robert, however. A good trade there. Majarshan really coming into his own on this team. Majarshan. Boo finds King. Just Ooh. Larry. Boo finds Larry to finish that first round off. WCU going up 1-0 once again. Yeah, and we see another round where it finished because of kills. Uh, honestly, that first game was the most I'd ever seen of essentially not winning through spike plants, so. We'll also see how this map goes for Mix, who is this is the map he went 36 and six on <laughs> last week. It was also game two last week that he went 36 yeah. and six. Right now, Boo taking the leaderboard 2-0 oh and 0, oh. Isms at 1-0 oh and 0. Oh. Hey, this is Boo's time to go 36 and six. I'm calling it. We're gonna see a bloodbath here as they know he's there. And Western now going to push in, mix it when Isn's working together. Boo trying to find someone in the back. It's Komi again. Quick pick on a Komi. I think that Komi switching off of Killjoy was maybe not the smartest idea as that late game Killjoy was really what Mixu's did Baker. going to walk into favors. Cornwall here. 
Oh, he was ready, but Cornwall doesn't realize that the entirety of Western... Oh, he does know that the entirety of Western goes Cornwall right behind him. Cornwall goes down to Majorshi. Majorshi goes down to Cornwall. Sorry. Good job. Good Other execution. way around. And... Yeah, some snows, he's here. Ooh, gets picked Cornwall off by Cornwall. Reasons. Mixu Mixu finds Robert just Cornwall. to shut him down. It yep. is Mixu, Boo, and Noble against Comey. I don't think King, because I think King's the... It's Tipsy, Larry, and King. Oh, that one's King. Okay. Noble finds Tipsy, so it's just Last Comey. Nope. Standing. It's just Larry. King. It, yeah, just King. It's all on King, and Mixu's going to go for the plant. WC now setting up. Boo just waiting around this corner for King. Boo's King's looking the wrong off. way. Yeah. <laughs> King just gets shredded there. That's a common thing that we see in Valorant, though, is just unfortunate direction for looking. They're just looking the wrong way at the wrong time. Uh, yeah, oftentimes, you just kind of have to pick one side and stick to it, so... Unfortunate there, but WCU going up 2-0 here. <laughs> Sorry, just laughing a bit as Sean Glade in chat is just something else. Other first place team captain coming out to support the other first place team. Definitely uh, great sportsmanship between all of us esports athletes here at Western. Careful here. For the most part. Right now, though, Western looking to push hard onto A. Trying to just do what they can. Mixu takes a little bit of damage there, but not enough to be too worrisome. King is just getting ready. Mixu is going to run through whatever that wall is. I'm just going to try and jump in. Noble finds one. Going to get a lot of damage against. Gets found. Jarshans finds Comey. King finds Noble. It's a four on three here. Boo and is planted. There is a quick plant from WCU, all things considered. For the most part, we don't see WCU get the plants off that fast in these rounds. They generally tend to wait until around the 45 second, if not later, mark. And now it looks like Baker's going to try and push in on this point. And Robert finds Boo. Gets it down by Mixu. King finds, Mixu. King finds Majarshan. And it is all up to Isms. Isms fans in chat really going off as Isms now finds Tipsy. It is Isms versus King. King has to get Isms and the Diffuse. And Isms finds King through that wall. Just kind of shooting at the spike, heard the sound, and went for it. Mountaineers go up 3 0 here in game two. And as we are in this buy phase, though Majarshan has been bottom of the leaderboard these past two weeks, I definitely think the Sona is very crucial to Western here, as Majarshan's getting heals off to his teammates that are one shot and giving them another shot at life, even oh. if he's not getting the kills himself. Overall, I think that Majarshan really meshing well with this Western team. Mm -hmm. As we mentioned, he has only been a part of this Valorant squad in main play on their starting roster for two weeks so overall his play style has been benefiting his squad noble finds tipsy <laughs> through the wall that is an insane pick boo is going for a very very fast plan a minute 22 left on the clock for weston to try and get that plant off and now robert with low toxin noble finds larry king robert and comey i believe nope Robert and Comey. 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 All on Comey's shoulders now in a one on five. And gets kicked off by Noble, who gets the triple kill. Flawless round for WCU. 4 0. Wonder if we'll need the timeout here. Though I would say it is early. Oh my gosh, they there are going to time out. 4 0. I was about to say. I definitely think that was the right call here, though. Like. Western right out the gate up 4-0 doing what Baker did at the end of last game Yeah, kind of what we've talked about again and again attack is definitely the easier side But on defense you're still looking to win at least three or four To kind of have a chance but WCU going up 4-0 Baker is in danger Taking a look at the leaderboard, we have Noble leading the charge for the Mountaineers with six kills and only two deaths, one assist, followed by three Mountaineers, all with four kills. On Baker's side, the top two have four kills with King and Cornwall. And Majarshan currently doing better than the bottom three of Baker, so WCU definitely ahead of Baker at every step here. 
And once again, I don't think that necessarily KDA is everything in this game. It definitely does a lot for your team if you have a very high kill count, but with Majarshan, he's very much still playing a support character, which coming in as a late addition to a roster, that's not a bad thing to have. Yeah, yeah. that's huge. And also just looking, I mean, WCU has won the last four or so. As far as yeah. money goes, they have significantly more than Baker here. I think Baker just should have picked Mercy. You just don't get a response there. <laughs> Anyhow, Western getting ready for this main fight. Very much, I mean, very different strategies they spread out. Ism gets a quick pick onto Cornwall. And Baker now going to be a lot lower than they, or a lot less likely to, or doing a lot worse than they maybe want to. Isms. But gets found by Mixu. Pretty great answer from WCU. A, oh, Tipsy finds Noble. And it is now a three on three. WCU going to be pushing onto A and getting this plant as Boo goes re gets ready to go into the back. Mixu probably about to just light up King here. We'll see. Yep. Oh my gosh. Instant, instantly dead. And Mixu just going to be running back just in case. And looks like Baker's going to be trying to go for a flank, although Boo is ready for it. No, they're going to regroup and try and push in that middle to A. Ooh, Larry does find Majarchan. It's going to be up to Boo and Mixu against Larry and... Someone else. Larry and Tipsy. Tipsy, that's the one. And Larry fakes it fused. Boo finds Tipsy. Larry finds Boo. And Mixu finds Larry. WCU goes up 5-0. And with Baker having used their timeout this round already, Western could just carry this momentum and sweep through this attack phase. Which, honestly, that is the most ideal situation. Some friendly banter we saw there at the end of uh, round five as Mixu shoots Boo <laughs> in his head <laughs> for being dead, apparently. A little friendly fire. It's, a little friendly fire. It's all good, all good. <laughs> I mean, right now, this ultimate game, just on a completely different note, is unreal. Both teams have just about gotten their ults online. All of them. Comey and Tipsy down two for each of them. Tipsy gets a quick little bit of damage onto Isms, who is getting healed. And I think Faker knows that Western's going for this quick plant onto B. So Western really just going to be going in. There is a Defender Killjoy coming out, and I wonder if Western's going to back off and respect it. And it looks like at least two of them will, as... Isms just going to push right into it, it appears. Nope, he's going to get out right in the last second. Oh, and finds Tipsy to boot. What a great play from Isms as King is getting ready. And there's going to be an ult coming from Western, I believe. Yep, from Boo. And Boo's going to go for the plant because of it. Great opportunity for Western to get just a huge advantage in this round. Mixu going to find one. Gets found by Cornwall, however. Noble pops out to try and get Cornwall and gets him. I mean, successfully, and WCU now has a four-on-one lead as Isms nice. picks off Larry. It is all on Comey's Comey. shoulders once again. I... I mean, Comey's been playing great this series, but right now, one on four is a, that's a tall order, and to get the spike to boot, that is not likely. I think Comey's just waiting for Weston to back out and trying to pick off one or two at the end. Yeah, I think you're right. I think Comey's just playing the late game here, just trying to stay alive. And Boot knows where Comey is. Boot's going to go for the kill. And does get it. WCU goes up 6-0 and oh on Bomb real play. almost eats Majarshan there as he hops out of the way. WCU led by Mixu, but closely behind is Isms and Noble. As of right now, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a defender timeout as soon as it gets swapped. <laughs> or a Baker take their other timeout as soon as it gets swapped, I mean. I mean, at this rate, they're on the doorstep of losing their season, losing their playoff run, so I would assume so. If Western is able to clean up this round, take the remaining six on attack, which that's, a, again, once again, that is a tall order. That's a mountain to climb. So we'll see if they can do it. But overall, Western on this map is just playing unreal. Ooh, Isn't just backs down as he sees Tipsy. Mixu then finds Comey. Oh my gosh, Mixu just trying to clean up Baker. Blue going in now, gonna see Robert, finds him, takes him out, Tipsy now. Boo's getting ready for that rotation, and no, he won't be there in time. 
Larry finds Mixu, Noble finds Larry, and Boo finds Tipsy. WCU just cleaning the house there. And ahead, no, you got it. Uh, interesting choice there, I would say, on Larry's part. I think that's the first time I've seen someone buy the Odin in a competitive match. <laughs> a very heavy recoil gun for just spraying down corridors. Eh, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. <laughs> it's just Larry, dude. Come on. It's Larry, yeah. Larry also being the only one on Baker's side to pop their ultimate. And on WCU's, only Boo. Boo a little bit ahead, though, at four of eight. So right now, I think that Baker it. is just... Oh, and Noble's going to pop the ult immediately. Ah. Mixu finds Hit Tipsy it. out of the gate. Well, they're going to be pushing super hard on to B. Ism as... hits his entire team. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. It's just an advantage to... It's just them trying to give an advantage to Baker, you know? That's there how it goes. Go. They're going to go for it here, I think. Oh, absolutely. Let's say. Yeah, they're going for it. And Boo's ready for this wall to drop. He sees one, gets two. Isms, Noble, and Boo. It's just Comey. It's just up to Comey, and Comey in a one on three. And once again, going to post up and force Western to try and just let the spike go off and just retreat. Yeah, Comey's been going for this backline play, WCU. Kind of anticipating it. One pass, two pass. Comey should definitely uh, kind of relocate, but on this map, you really don't have enough time. Isn't just going to kill him. Speaking of not enough time, Isn't just comes around the corner and shreds him, anticipating that Comey was right there. And Western now up 8-0. to zero. This is nothing less than a dominating performance on attack. Sean over there talking crap in the Twitch chat towards Baker. <laughs> eh, it's Sean. He always talks crap. Eh. Who on the esports team doesn't? Comey again leading the leaderboard for Baker, I believe. Watching here. I mean, right now, Noble playing very interesting position, I'll say it. I'll say that. I mean, very different position. Tipsy finds Isms, but Boo answers finding Tipsy with the same sniper. Majarsha is going to revive Isms there. I'm not sure that's the best use of that ult, but... Okay. When you're up 8-0, there's not really a bad, a time. bad use, yeah. And the Mixer's gonna go up, try and find someone, takes it, gives a bit of damage to Robert. Robert finds Isms to answer, however, so it's a four on three. Still in favor of Western, but not necessarily the favor that we want. Noble finds Larry, who finds Comey, and is all on to Robert Cornwall. Interesting name, once again. <laughs> Robert Cornwallis III. <laughs> and Robert just going to find Mixu. Gets found by Boo, though, and Boo with a triple kill finishes out that round, putting yeah. Western up 9-0. Baker no needs to find a response here. Or this is going to be over real soon. I mean, I'm going to go ahead and go over the scoreboard. Boo leading the charge 12-2-3 for Western. Mixu close behind at 11-6-4. Noble 10, 3, and 3. Isms 10, 4, and 3. The only person on Western not in the double digits for kills is Majarshan, but Majarshan is leading the charge in terms of assists. Heading over to Baker's side, we see Robert at 7, 9, and 0. Larry at 5, 9, and 1. King at 4, 9, and 1. Comey at 2, 9, and 1. And Tipsy 2, 9, and 0. Yeah, WCU is going to be going uncontested going here into point B. Interesting choice from Baker. I think Baker just has to go with what they knew worked last time on the fly, pushing up that middle. And right now, Western just ready for it. Majarshan in the back. Slightly. Majarshan's gonna get Ooh. flanked, but he's gonna... He has the operator. He's gonna go for some snipes here as Larry finds Mixu. I mean, right now, Western down by one going into this major fight. Never mind, as Isn't finds Larry. Majarshan tries to find anyone, isn't able to do so. Oh, he does find Comey there. Huge pickoff from Majarshan. Insane shot. And he gets taken out by Robert. It's now a three on three as Isms finds King to answer. It is now up to Co Tipsy and Robert. Robert finds Isms. Robert finds Boo. And it's on Noble. Noble hiding behind the corner. All he has to do is stall out the defuse here. It doesn't matter if Noble dies. Oh. I don't think they're going to have enough time. Oh my gosh, that is the closest I have seen for the defuse stop. Point no, get the kill at the end, though, I mean, set Robert back some, but not really. 0.03 seconds remaining on the clock. 
you can't get closer. I mean, you. I mean, you literally okay. can, but <laughs> in terms of what we have seen this semester, you will not get closer than that. Yeah, that was definitely a tough one. Baker winning their first game of this match now in the tenth round. There going into the eleventh. WCU leading one or nine to one. Though it did work out for them there, I don't think giving up the point that easily is a good call for Baker, especially when you were down 9-0. Tipsy kind of stuck in the corner here. I mean, Ooh. he does find Noble, so maybe not the worst place. Make sure he does knock Tipsy down. Probably going to go for the finished kill here. And he will. As Mixu gets in the way... Taking that kill from Isms. I'd say it's a three on four here in favor of Baker, actually. But again, still anyone's game, especially in Valorant. And Western going to go for a relatively hard push in terms of Majarshan and Isms starting to be more aggressive towards that B point. Majarshan just rocking the pistol. No, he's got the now phantom. Now he picks up the phantom from from uh, his dead comrade, uh, mm -hmm. Larry. WCU with only just about 30 seconds left on the clock. Not sure which way they're going to push. 30 seconds left. Looks like they might go for a hard push over to A. I'm sorry, I'm just confused. Majarshan's comrade, Larry? Yeah, comrade. You mean right. adversary? No, comrade. You heard me right. Cornwall oh. finds two. Spike down a. And it's going to be Robert, or it's going to be up to Isms to get a team ten kill in seconds. 10 seconds. Finds one. Yeah, Baker's going to take this round here, going up, to, or go, go, go. I guess being down two to nine. Yeah, doing what he can oh, is yeah. Isms, but not able to do quite enough. And Baker played it very smart, just spreading out, making sure yeah. that there's no way Isms Last could get a triple kill. Half. Yeah. Even still going into the swap, even if you're nine and three, as long as Baker doesn't make a six round comeback again, that's great standings for WCU here. And that pistol round so far tonight has been in Western's favor. They've been yeah. playing it very well, and that's going to be probably a deciding factor. And if Western can win this round here, it's going to put them that much closer to winning. Yep, Western currently three for three on the pistol rounds tonight. So far. And it looks like there's just a lot of action over towards A as Mixu was just playing that back line, waiting towards B. So Western looking to try and push hard on that A point. Maybe going to rotate off here in just a minute, or they might just commit. At this point, we probably will see every all come out for both teams if they, ha if they have it. Isms gets flashed there, I believe. Yep. Gets flashed again by Tipsy. Mixu, Mixu finds King. Great pickoff. WCU up five on four now. Boo slightly lower health and same as Mixu, but not terribly off. And Isms finds Tipsy. So right now Western with a pretty big advantage as Isms or as Comey finds Boo and Noble. And being that he knows where the spike is, he's just going to post up. Larry finds Isms. It is now Mixu and Majarshan. It is now all on Majarshan's shoulders. The newest player for Western has the biggest hill to climb so far for his team tonight. Yeah, being a 3v1 with a sniper is definitely a tough challenge, but not impossible. We've seen it done before. I mean, I, three Odins. I, mean, I think the th hardest part for Majarshan here... Well, I was going to say, the hardest part for Majarshan here is going to actually be getting the spike because he doesn't have it. He can't Switching force sides. Baker to try and overstep. So he had to try and find the spike, but he just couldn't get there in time. So now we do see the swap, 9-3 to three in favor of Western. Pretty big lead, but not a safe enough one. As we saw last time, 6-0 and oh on attack was Baker. Yeah, that's Baker. only a one off of uh, how WCU started last time, being 8-4. and four. So not a huge lead, and WCU started out hot last time. So definitely uh, it's within reach for Baker. Baker needs to win 10 here. Western needs to win 4. And we will see how things play as this buy phase quickly comes to an end. Gershon throws up a wall. Just to be safe, and 
It's going to not be a bad play. There is four of Baker there. They might try and shred through the wall, but if they do that, I think they risk Majarshan knowing... Oh, Majarshan knows that Tipsy's there, finds one. Gets found by Comey, however, and now Baker's going to maybe push. Oh. And Boone knows that they are around that corner, waiting for them to try and come in. Trying to shoot through this wall, do whatever damage he can, isn't able to do so though. Mixu finds Larry, Boo finds Komi. It is now King and Cornwall, Robert Cornwall. Robert Cornwall finds Boo, it's now a two on two. Isms and Mixu, two of the better players for Western. And by that, I mean the more consistently high scoreboard. And it's gonna be all up to King. And King gets picked off by Mixu, and Western just gonna go for the defuse. Isn't gonna go one, and maybe he's gonna take all of two. And I mean, you might as well when you're this far in the lead, you just want whatever rounds you can take. So Western just gonna let, or Mixu just gonna let Isms take it, putting him at two and two of seven for his ultimate. Again, WC winning the pistol round. They're four for four now, I believe. Call them Wendy's. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I mean, do you not remember the Wendy's 4 for 4? I do, I remember, do. Remember, it still exists, just saying. I mean, not here. Hey, we don't get a Wendy's here. We get a McDonald's, an Arby's, a and Taco a Taco Bell, Bell. And a Subway. I mean... And a new Starbucks coming 2024. Yeah, because we need a Starbucks when we already have so many overpriced coffee shops. But now, Baker going to be pushing over onto A once again, and it looks like Isms is going to be trying to push in the back line to just do whatever damage he can and cause havoc. Boo gets, I think, suppressed for a second there. He is still suppressed. And back around the corner, Majarshan finds Komi. Gets found by Tipsy, however. King going to go for the plant. Ooh. Oh. Mixu does find Tipsy. Yeah. And it is now, ooh. Boo sees Larry behind. in the back. Yeah, Larry does find Noble. Boo finds Robert. Maybe a miscommunication from there. Oh, and Larry does find Boo. It's now a two-on-two. It is Larry isn't a Mixu against Mixu now just Larry. Larry. Just Larry again. <laughs> just Larry. Mixu, Mixu going for the defuse. Going to force Larry to try and overstep through this wall. And Isn't's just waiting. And Isn't picks Larry. off Larry. So Western going to get this defuse. Now within two of taking the series and advancing to the finals. Timeout Baker, I, I'd i say, but again, as we saw last round, they let Western get the match point and, and still, still didn't. didn't call it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, right now we'll see what happens, but overall, Western finding their pace. Two rounds, one on the fuse for Western. So we'll see how this plays out. Looking at the stick with the marshal and staying at the top of the leaderboard, 17, 9, and 6. Isms now at 16, 6, and 4. And then Boo at 14, 7, and 4. Looking at the top three of Baker, we see we saw Robert at something. Boo is once again suppressed very early in the round. Not gonna be capitalized by Baker as Noble picks off Tipsy. Isms finds Robert. Comey finds Boo. And it's now a four on three, still in favor of Western, but not necessarily the way that you want to see things play out. As they are defending, as Baker's going to be trying to defend this corner. And Western now just going to slowly push in. Majarshan watching this hallway, Isn't getting over to support. And Baker's just going to back all the way out. Or still just play in that middle area. Definitely think playing in this middle hurts them unless they can find the kills they need. Because they're essentially at neither point trying to defend or plant. Yeah. Coming up on 45 seconds, WCU just kind of holding their angles. Looks like Baker's going to retreat, and looks like they're going to head towards B. Yeah. I mean, right now, that's probably the smartest option, as Isms and Majarshan are holding that A corridor very well, both sides of it. Left. And now Isms going to slowly rotate back, ready to go towards B. And I wonder Coming. if... Noble's going to call it to his team, and he will. Mixu's getting ready to come in the back to do any damage that he can. Komi, I think... Plant. Oh, Mixu just misses King. That is unfortunate. Now the Baker... Er, now the pressure is on WCU instead of Baker. 
Comey Go finds Mixu, Noble finds Comey. And it is a three on two. It's gonna be Noble Majarshan and Isms against Comey and Larry. Oh, Larry and... Or Larry and King, King. sorry. Now nope, Larry. Just Larry. Just Larry. Isms fakes the bait, or fakes to try and bait Larry to shoot early. And oh my gosh, Mixu was just a distraction. Noble picks off Larry and Majarshan's gonna get the free to fuse. Huge bait from Isms there. Again, I, I think Baker needs to call the timeout here. Oh, they have to. This is their season on the line. They need to call this timeout. And we'll, I wonder if they will, but they might be trying to let this timer run down as low as they can before they actually pass it. Just so they can get as much time to discuss as possible. But this is their semester, or this is the spring season on the line. If Western wins this, Baker is out and Western advances to the finals. Western's defense looking incredible so far. And there's no timeout. The time there's no timeout coming from I... Baker. Very interesting decision. Last time it worked for them, but we'll see if Western can just hold with what they've been doing. Baker looking to push towards A. Boo gets a quick pick onto Tipsy. And not working out for him. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's going to be a killjoy onto A. Going to force Majarshan back to back out. Boo going to be targeted by Robert, but Boo ends up finding him instead. Five on two now. Five on three. Or five on three. I know, Matt. Might is hard. as well be five on two. Mix well, now it's four Comey. on two as Comey finds Isms. Larry finds Mixus, and now it's a three on two. Jarshan does find King, and it's up to Larry. Noble finds Larry, and Western advances to the finals. The first season for Western's Valorant team, and they are just carrying through. Knocking out Baker in the semis two to nothing. That was an, that was just incredible play. Mixu taking the leaderboard by storm. 18, 11, and 8. Isms close behind at 17, 7, and 6. Robert Cornwall 14, 14, and 1. Noble 16, 7, and 6. Larry 13, 14, 3. Boo 16, 8, and 4. And let's just not go through the rest because, <laughs> I mean... 13 to 3 in map 2. That is a statement from Western. Absolutely. That was impressive. WCU clinching it in 2 and moving on. Yeah. Well played there from the Mountaineers. Uh, I think that'll do it for us here, though. Moving on alongside them as we end the stream here, they will be going up against NAU JV in the finals next Monday. The only team to have actually beaten WCU this season. So it's definitely going to be a nice fight next Monday if you want to join us. Absolutely. I'm I'm excited for that matchup. So That should be really fun to watch. But for now, I think it's safe to say that I'm JoJo's Mojo. I'm Disagree. I'm Mountain Man. And have a great night.